questions? No. Right, yes. Uh, and uh, his uh, talk is about breaking the wall of the mystery of creation in three minutes. Exactly. <laughs> so, I have a friend who was in the US Army and he came back from Iraq and he tells me that whenever he walks down the street and he sees these little bags that are on the side of the street that are unattended, kind of like those bags over there, all of a sudden he comes up. He's like, what's going on? He starts sweating, his hair starts standing up, his eyes pop out, and then the tsunami rains from his face. Why is that? Because you know in Iraq what that is? Somebody's going to get blown up. That's going to be a bomb. Okay, so PTSD, which is uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, is what these people are suffering from. And so this is what it feels like to have this. It affects more than just uh, veterans, but also uh, it affects uh, people who survived terrorist attacks, which was recent, and also uh, car accidents, for example. These people cannot forget their fears. Imagine that, like your first love. That was traumatic, right? That's the kind of trauma that people have to experience here. So what happens is how do you deal with this? Well, it turns out there's medical ways of getting around this, but usually they're given medicine. For example, narcotics or sedatives. You fall asleep, you wake up the next day feeling like a zombie. It doesn't really cure you. Well, all it really does is hide you from the fear that really is still there. So what our lab study was that we actually gave uh, these uh, animals an ability to actually extinguish their fears. So what happens is if you give them this fearful cue, kind of like that bag, uh, analogous to that bag I was talking about earlier. So what happens is if you give them repeatedly, they're going to actually learn how to avoid, you know, kind of uh, get rid of this fear of memory. But what happens is that when this happens, we also have an activation of the reward system, and that was unexpected. So what that means is that during the part of the time when the animals are actually feeling that fearful response, the reward system is actually activated. The reward is actually usually associated with stuff like ice cream, food, sex, rock and roll, all that good stuff that you hear about. But it turns out, if you inhibit this system, they cannot learn to extinguish their memory. So what that means for PTSD patients is that what we actually want to believe is that they actually have a deficit in their reward system. And you actually need to boost the system if you really want to help them. So for example, you need to give them brain, deep, brain, uh, deep brain stimulation or other kind of stimulation during just the part when they're actually having the fearful response. And only then can you actually uh, hope to overcome this fear of memory. Only then can you actually learn to extinguish the fear. And that's why we need to actually figure out how to um, uh, figure out these, how these uh, memories are formed and how to alleviate them by actively, actively facing your fears. Thank you very much.